Satnam, I'm Nirvar Singh Khalsa, and here we are in January 2018. Happy New Year. This is an 11 year. If you add the numbers of 2018 together, you get the number 11. In numerology, it's infinity or the infinite pulse or Shabbat Guru or the sound current. So this year we'll be doing a lot of chanting mantras in our monthly videos. Today we're, and this month, we're going to do something wonderful. It's called Narayan Kriya. And we did this Kriya as part of summer solstice, as part of the water tattva back in 2009. The most amazing thing is to be involved in a Kriya like this, you know, kind of in a concentrated way and doing it as a sadhana, and then coming back to it years later. You know, here we are. You know, nine years later, practicing this again. And I found that these teachings are just timeless. They, you know, I'm always changed a little bit when I come back around to do a practice. And so, kind of rediscovering this Narayan Kriya, again, uh, was, was wonderful. Now, Narayan itself, you know, the interesting, we like to do like a prosperity uh, Kriya at the beginning of every year. And Narayan relates to, in Hindu mythology, Narayan is the, the supreme deity, right? They talk about the triumvirate, but Narayan, when Narayan combines with, uh, with, with Rajas, it's, it becomes Brahma. When Narayan merges with Sattva, it's Vishnu. When Narayan merges with Thomas, it's Shiva. And so Narayan is like the big, the big god. <laughs> and uh, in, in yogic terminology, we, we say it's this infinity, the Purusha. And Narayan has this relationship with, with Lakshmi, right? With wealth, with Maya, with nature. And Yogi Bhajan in many times in stories he would tell, he'd always make a, uh, he would talk about Hindu mythology and, and, and make reference to Narayan and Lakshmi. You know, you can't be chasing Lakshmi and expect Narayan to be happy. You can't insult Narayan and expect, expect Lakshmi to, to actually serve you, for nature to serve you, for Maya to serve you, for you to have the wealth and prosperity that you need. And so it's always good to have a balance. The most successful homes, are, they say, is where Lakshmi and Narayan both live together. So that you're remembering your infinity and you're allowing the nature to serve you. Now, Narayan, when they depict Narayan, although it's really more of a concept, uh, He's like standing on water, you know, usually either on a lotus or in the seas, and he's carrying uh, a lotus, a conch, a mace, several different um, symbols, and a chakra, the Sudarshan chakra. And so there's a relationship with Narayan with water, with flow, with the flow of your life, your emotions, your relationship. Water is the most powerful thing most powerful element on the planet. You're mostly made of water. Anytime you bring water in the body or water leaves your body, you change your emotional nature. And so more what this idea of wealth and prosperity and the balance in that, the balance of Lakshmi and Narayan is about your flow. And so this is a great Kriya to do at the beginning of the year to reestablish your flow to use that water element to remember Narayan so Lakshmi can come live with you, so that <laughs> nature can serve you. So um, what we're going to do is an interesting Kriya that um, Yogi Bhajan taught in 1979 on October 9th. And what I really recommend is that you use some music to this, music that was created for that summer solstice in 2009 by Sat Purkar. It's off her album called Queen Bee, and it's Sat Narayan Kriya. What we're going to do is we're going to chant the mantra Narayan uh, for 11 minutes in a monotone. And 
this is, he taught lots of different Narayan mantras. We're going to do a different one for in, in February. But this is Sat Narayan, Hari Narayan, Hari Narayan, Hari Hari. And that's chanted in a monotone. And we'll do this in a specific mudra for 11 minutes. And then you're going to hold the breath three times. And you're going to do the clearing at that time because this is for clarity, for clearing, for prosperity, to think about clearing your relationships, healing any wounds that you may have or tears in relationships, to clear yourself, to kind of make way so that you can have that yogic state of balance. And then to seal the effects of the mantra, you chant the mantra Waheguru in its Trikuti form, Waheguru, for three minutes, and then you're going to be done. So we always start with the tune in mantra, Ang Namo Guru Dev Namo, three times. The mudra is this, Gyan Mudra, and you have the elbows against the rib cage so that the hands are at about heart center height and, and about chest width apart or a little bit wider. Chest is up high, chin level to the ground and neck lock. Eyes are gazing at the tip of the nose. And the mantra sounds like this. Sat Narayan, Hari Narayan, Hari Narayan, Hari Hari. Sat Narayan, Hari Narayan, Hari Narayan, Hari Hari. And you'll do that for 11 minutes. But we're going to give you a link to Seeknet has uh, Sat Pork's version of this Sat Narayan Kriya and you can stream it and listen to it and practice with it. Or you could go to Spirit Voyage and download, you know, buy the cut from the Queen Bee album. Or you can buy the whole album from our store, The Source, uh, Queen Bee, at KRI. Because I recommend that you would practice with this, um, with this music, because it's really uplifting. It's great. It's a great tune. I was just playing it in the car on the way over to shoot the video today. Anyway, I really wish you the best for prosperity, for health, for wellness, for upliftness, upliftment in 2018. It's a terrific year to involve yourself in the current of sound for your upliftment. So we'll be practicing together here in January and many blessings to you for 2018. Satnam.